Hello class, welcome to Math 240. My name is Matthew Sokol and I'll be your instructor for the course. And what I wanna do in this video here is just walk you through the um, overall look of the course, requirements, and how to get started. So what you'll see here is I have a course loaded up. Now you'll notice that the course number and course date uh, might not exactly match yours and that's okay. This is just an older course. Um, that I'm just going to use to show you how to walk through the course. So when you log into the course, this is the main page of it. And what we're going to use to navigate our course here is this course menu. But right off the bat, what you'll notice here is there's a bunch of uh, announcements here. You should pay attention to this um, uh, every time you log into the classroom. So every week you'll get two announcements from me specifically. Um, what the announcements will be, there'll be an uh, introductory announcement for the module, like what's required. Uh, just a brief overview of it and then i'll have a second announcement that i what i do is i walk you through like some tip tips and trips for the, tips and tricks for the for the module and you'll notice that i'll show you how to use excel to answer some things and i'll look at and show you how to answer maybe some of even the trickier problems in your homework okay so first things first when you click here go to click menu what you'll want to click on is this thing called learning modules and it'll tell you here where to start and there's two important things you should do to start the course. One is you should download and read the course syllabus. And then the second thing that's incredibly important is you need to enroll in this thing called Zybooks, ZY book. So what Zybooks is, is where we'll be doing most of our learning and where some of your um, assignments will be coming from. So click on the syllabus and download it. And I won't read through it in much detail here. I'll let you read through that on your own here. Um, but what's really incredibly important is to get registered access in Zybooks, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then also maybe what you're really interested in is the grade distribution of the class right now, or how your grade will be determined. So our assignments consist of discussions. There's three discussions. Um, these, these things called participation activities and challenge activities right here. These um, come from Zybooks, and I'll show you how to access those. There's three assignments and two projects for this class. So you'll notice that there are no exams, that your, the majority of your grade is gonna be based on assignments and projects. And what I will do for each assignment and project in this course is I will, I will show you some tips and tricks to how to solve them, and I will also post a sample one for you to review as well. All right, so first off, one of the things that's incredibly important is getting registered in this Zybooks that you've heard me mention. So let's go back and look, click on announcements. You'll notice here in the announcement section that there are two links, one called Zybooks and one called Zybooks Registration. This first one here talks and shows you how to register in Zybooks. It shows a link to the website and then some very, very simple instructions to follow. So you're gonna need a course code that you're gonna purchase and an access key that you're gonna purchase from the SNHU online bookstore. And then you're gonna follow these simple, um, these simple steps. When you go to register, what's incredibly important is that you register using the correct section code, okay? And that section code will be found in the announcement section right here. Now again, this, this section code here is related to this course, might not necessarily be for your exact course, so please pay attention to the one that's listed in the announcement section, okay? You need to make sure to do that correctly. Once you're registered in Zybooks, it'll look something like this, okay? Uh, yours might look a little bit differently because this is a um, uh, this is an instructor view, but yours what'll be important here is you'll see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight modules here. Okay, and they correspond to the eight modules of the class or the eight weeks of the class. And the way you'll use Zybooks is you'll see there's this thing called challenge here and participation. So if you remember looking back at the syllabus, there's participation activities and challenge activities. So when you click on this, what you'll see here is there's all these different sections under the module that you will need to complete. So what you'll do is you'll click on this, the first one here. All right. And what you'll want to do is you want to read through the textbook. Okay. And what you'll notice is as you read through the textbook, you'll come to these things called participation activities. All right. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to answer these problems. So for example, as you read through here, you know, the first, the first participation activity is related to this bar chart here. And it says something like the amount of data collected worldwide in 2016 is about, so you would go to the bar chart, go to 2016, it looks like it's about 10, 10 zettabytes. 
So what you would do is you would select 10 and it would tell you that you have it correct. Okay, and what you'll do is you will have to go through and read, read the section and answer each type of participation activity. Okay, some of them will be, you know, um, move stuff around and it's, it'll, it's gonna tell you when you have things incorrect and it'll let you retry the problem and keep going and going and going. The good news is too, is um, if you were to get things wrong, um, you know, you can keep fooling around with the answers till you get it right. Um, even some of the numerical ones that ask you to input and the things that are not multiple choice um, will, will, will eventually show you the answer if you're really, really struggling with it. And then at the end of each section, there's this thing called a uh, challenge activity. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is complete this after you've completed all the participation one. So it'll say, uh, you know, a person shirt size is, you know, quantitative or qualitative. And then you'll pick whatever you think it is and you'll check the answer. Oh, I got it wrong. You know, and then you can um, go through. Oh, you got this one right and so on and so on. And it'll give you a little check mark when you're done. Okay. So you'll need to do that for every section. And it's a way to, to, to be interactive with the material and to learn the material as you're reading the textbook, okay? Um, you know, the, this right here, the, the challenge activities are worth 30 points a week and the participation activities are worth uh, um, 10 points a week. All right, in addition to that, going back away from Zybook, so you'll need to do that Zybook every week, okay? Uh, under here, the next thing under learning modules here, um, there's this thing called assignment information, or you won't see instructor resources, assignment information. So you click on that. You can see here are the information, the guidelines and rubrics for the assignments. As you could look in, in here, there are three assignments and two projects. Uh, this is the module two assignment, module three assignment, module five assignment, project one and project two. Now, when you click on them, all right, you're gonna to have to follow and read these very, very carefully, all right? To help you do these problems each week, I will, um, or when they're due, what I will do is I will post a guide to help walk you through it. I, I, I will do that. You're also free to ask me any questions you want. You'll notice each project and assignment has a template. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on this and it'll download the template. And what you'll do is, you know, It'll say to complete this template, just replace the bracketed areas with your own content. So you'll, you know, where it says your name here, you know, you'll put in your own content. And then as you go through here, you know, where, where you have your introduction, you'll delete this and write this in and so on and so on. Okay. And again, I won't leave you high and dry on this. I will post um, a lot of resources to help you complete each assignment and each project as the weeks go on. All right, going back into the classroom here. For each module, there's a little overview that you should click and watch through here. Um, you know, just some resources, there's some videos, things like that. All right, looking back at the syllabus too, you'll also notice there are three discussions for the class. So if you, under a course menu here, under each module for their due, you, there's a link to it right here. But you can also find discussions under this tab right here. There's a general questions tab. So if you have any questions that you want to ask me, uh, I will get back to you within 24 hours, probably a lot less. I, I generally check the classroom multiple times a day. And then you can see here, here's the discussion one that's graded, module six discussion that is graded, and module eight discussion that is graded. For each of these discussions here, I will also post a starter post that will show you how to solve the problem or give you some tips to work on it. Um, and I generally, uh, I'll, I'll give you a nice walkthrough guide for that. So that's the course overview. Um, I know it was a little on the quick side here, but um, I'm really looking forward to working with all of you. And if you and remember, the, one of the first things you need to do is get registered in that Zybooks. And if you have any questions, please email me or post to the general questions forum right here.